It will be emotional, no, no doubt about that, and it's a little bit of a mixed feeling, the fact that um, I'm moving on, but um, you know, uh, I have had five years with uh, the best team in the world, I think, and they've made me a better, better coach. Um, and it's time to move on and um, try to do some different things with a challenging, another challenging team. When you, when you, well, everyone's talked about what you did for the for US, U.S. soccer team. When you came in here, how soon did you know that they, they needed to change it? When did you decide this is how we should? Well, go? you know, I've, I've seen them play for for a long time. Mm -hmm. You know, when um, I worked for the Swedish Federation and the scouting, and even the scouter for for April 2004. So when I got a chance, I had an idea with the players I've seen from from you know as a. Uh, as a, you know, sitting in a crowd, mm -hmm. uh, there are certain things I really wanted to do. And Americans, they have everything. You know, we talk about uh, strong fitness and uh, good shots, and so then I had an idea what I wanted to do. And I think it took, it actually took me, took us, I would say, four or five years. Yeah. Because, I mean, when you interviewed for it, did you talk about doing that kind of stuff, or did you have to get on the ground and, and let people see it for themselves? No, well, when, uh, of course I talked about my uh, coaching philosophy uh, before they hired me when I, you know, uh, in the interview. So uh, that, that's something I, I talked about the road. You know, you talk about gold and I talked about the road because I think that is the most important thing. If you do the right thing and you just have faith in what you do and, and you believe in what you're doing, um, it's a good chance that uh, you get some positive things out of it. How have, uh, how have you been emotionally the past, you know, the last exhibition, exhibition games after the Olympics and you made your announcement? How have you felt? Oh, it's, it's been absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. It's been fast. Uh, uh, everything uh, going from the Olympic gold medal being around the best team and then get an opportunity to coach your own country um, a couple of days. And uh, of course, very, very emotional. Uh, and I think it's really hard to say thank you. Um, the, the place they gave me um, the best present ever. They gave me a guitar, uh, a signed guitar in, in gold. So when I play for the Swedish team, I always remember the American players because they made me look good. Uh, so it, it's, uh, you know, you have days where you think, well, what am I doing? Uh, and the other days, well, I'm all up for this next challenge. Um, and, uh, well, it's hard to explain. It's really hard well, to explain. Well, what's back at home in Sweden? What's, what's pulling you back there? Well, the first of all, this my the, the culture. I'm my that's my mm -hmm. I have my family, and it's I've been in, been abroad five years. No, actually six years because I was in China before this. Mm -hmm. So going home uh, to your own apartment, to your friends and family, that, that means a lot to me. Um, and I have and the other thing is, and I think the, the most important thing is. The reason why I actually leave this team, winning team, is there's another challenge, and uh, Sweden is hosting the European Championship, and uh, standing in front of a Swedish crowd and then trying to, you know, play some good soccer. Uh, that I'm really looking forward to that. It it, it will be uh, uh, um, hard work, no doubt about that, um, because we're a different place. Mm -hmm. how, how much up on the Swedish team are you having been away? Well, uh, I've been uh, I've been away from from Sweden for a long time. So the way I know the the team and the players is through scouting, pretty much. Uh, I, I've seen them a couple of times because when I'm in Sweden, I swing by Sweden. I have watch the, um, the league as well. So I know, and some of them are actually coach when they are youth national team. Uh, so um, I don't know them. I know Abby and Chris Rampo better than all the Swedish players, which is I think is cool. You know? okay. So now I have to, uh, you know, uh, what kind of personality they have, what kind of players they, they, they are, and uh, go from there. Okay, when did they give you the guitar? What are you talking about? Uh, in L.A. after oh, the game. After I was, I'm talking about moments in my life, yeah. soccer moments, and you talk about, you know, I always bring up uh, Wembley, you mm -hmm. know, Olympic. I always bring up Brazil, the Brazil yeah. game when Abby scores that wonderful yeah. goal. That guitar is tough. On my left. It was on the, on the field. On the field. On the field. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, that, 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 that don't kill me. Oh.